The 2018 version of Pro Strategy Football brings several fun new features, and I'll cover more of them later. But the most exciting one is the freedom to edit everything about leagues and have as many leagues as you want. What this means is that you can edit all the names and ratings of every team and every player, and even the names of the conferences and divisions, the name of the championship game, coaching tendencies of every team, weather, and so forth. Uh, you can create and share leagues from any season using real names and ratings. Uh, you can have a mix. You can have college teams. It's, there's no limit to how many leagues you can have. However, the hardest part of the process for mobile devices is how to get the leagues to and from your device. You've got to be able to get the files, the CSV files, off your device so you can edit them, get them back on your device, so then you can turn them back into leagues. Or if someone else has already created league files for you, just to get those onto your phone. So this video is going to cover a few important points. First, I'm going to explain the difference between CSV and league files and why we need both. And then secondly, I'm going to explain the process for getting files to and from your device. By the way, you might also want to check out this Apple site. Um, they do a great job of explaining what I'm going to be covering here. And you can see the URL up there. Now, let me point out that for this video, I am covering Apple, so I'm covering iOS, uh, iPhones, iPads, iPod Touches, and uh, iTunes. Later, I'll cover Windows, which will be very easy, and Android. So first, what are CSV and League Files? So if you notice right down here, there's a league manager. That's new in PSF 2018. What this shows is the list of available leagues you have. And you can have as many leagues as you want, like I say. And those leagues, you can use a different league for exhibition play, which are pickup games, single season, and career. Maybe you want to start your career based on the 1967 teams. Maybe you want to build a single season based on... 2017, maybe your friend and you, you know, want to do a, a hot swap game based on some 1984 teams. You can have all those in here. It supports those. Leagues are binary files that the game can read, but you and I can't. So how do we get those? How do we edit those? Well, you edit them by creating text files. You can export to a CSV, which means comma separated value. So when you're ed editing these files, do not add or remove any commas. Um, commas are used in separating the columns. You can edit them in a text file, and I can show you more later on how to edit them. You can edit them in text files, but it's much easier to edit them in something like Excel. Just be sure you save them back out as CSV. Once you save them, you can turn around and import them, and so it would show up here once it's on your device. Once you import it, you can then scout it and say, yeah, that's what I want. Uh, or if it's not what you want, you go back and make some more edits, put it back on your device, Scout it again. Once you get what you want, then you turn around and save it as a league. So, that brings us to the question. How do we get these files on and off your iPhone or iPad? So, the first thing you're going to need is an up-to-date version of iTunes on your computer and connect your iPhone or iPad to your computer. So, let me pull up iTunes. So, you'll notice here I've got iTunes up, and the important thing is this icon right here. You click on it. On the left side, this is information about your phone. You click on File Sharing, and you see Apps and Documents. Apps are the list of, doc of the apps on your phone or iPad that uh, support file sharing, and PSF 2018 is one of those. And Documents are, well, what documents can you take off your device, and what documents can you put on your device. So now, on the left side, unfortunately I can't show you both sides because... Uh, I have to scroll. But on the left side, I have picked PSF 2018. And on the right side, these are the files I've got. So what I'm going to do, by the way, let me make a real strong, important point here. Do not overwrite these two files, 2018 underscore league, CSV or LGS. Those are used by my game. They're the default values. And the game will, uh, anytime it starts up, overwrite those values. So if you edit that, and put your edits in a file named that same name, you will lose your edits. So instead, be sure you name your file something else, like My 2018 Teams, or anything other than this. But let's take the CSV file off. So you'll click it, scroll down to the bottom, and click Save To. 
and that'll bring up a file browser. On Windows, it'll be Explorer. Uh, here it's Finder, and I'm going to click on Desktop, and I'm going to click Save To, and it saved it. Now, I'll pull up Finder, and there it is right there. Now, this video is not it's showing you a CSV file. This video, I'm not going to get into all the editing. I will uh, show you real quickly what that looks like in Excel. And you notice that there's all this information at the top. You might want to make these columns a little bit wider. There's all this information. Please be sure to read it because it, it explains everything. The important lines always start with star, star, space, and a word. Like this is the league. So right here where it says PSF 2018, that's the name of your league. So if you want to name that, you know, 1977 Real Players, you can name it that. And then when you're browsing later your leagues in your game, that's what would show up. This says PSF, PSF Championship. That's the name of your championship game. You know, you guys, I can't, but you guys can change that to Super Bowl or if it's college teams, something like ACC Championship, SEC Championship, so forth. You can change the name of your two conferences. Leave this alone, Conference 1, Conference 2, but you can change this like to American or AFC and so forth. Change the name of your divisions. Then we get into all the team attributes. Uh, how good are they on defense? What is their coaching philosophy? Are they conservative? Do they blitz a lot? So they prefer man-to-man -man or balanced? Then you get into all your teams. You can name every team. You can change every attribute. Then you get into every single player in the game. Like I say, we can have another video that covers all that. But the important thing is um, I'm going to change one name. I'm going to change the name of the Dallas team to something uh, Cowpokes. Like I say, I can't release it with Cowboys, you obviously can do that. You're free to change your teams to wherever you want. Um, so they're going to be called the Dallas Cowboys. Now I'm going to save this as a different one. So I'm going to name it uh, uh, 2018 Dallas. That's my CSV file. Now what I want to do is go back into iTunes and I'm going to say add. I need to go add a team. And if you notice, there it is. I browse to it. I find it. Double click it. If you notice, there it is. It is now on my phone ready to use. All right. So I've copied it to my phone. What do I do now? Well, I'm still on my leagues file. Notice it's not there. Well, it's because it wasn't a league file. So I click import CSV. And there it is. Now, I didn't change the name inside the file. If I had, it would show up here. But I'm going to click that. And I'm going to, now you can just load the names, but I'm going to import everything. Now, it tells you I loaded a league file, two conference lines, 32 teams, and all these players. Yep, good to go. No columns were bad, so we're good to go. But before I save this as a league, I want to make sure, hey, was that what I wanted? So I go to Scout. Notice Dallas Cowpokes. Sure enough, it picked it up. And if I had changed any ratings, like their defensive stamina, uh, their, how good their two-minute offense is, and so forth, and their coaching philosophy, that all would have shown up here as well. Point is, I go, yes, that is what I want. Now let's save it as a league. I'm going to go ahead and save it as that. Go back. Now I've got two leagues. I've got a league based on the Dallas team and a league based, that came with PSF 2018. That's it, pure and simple. So the hard part is connecting to iTunes. Uh, I know people about have already put real players out there on Dropbox. Simply pull that CSV file down onto your phone using iTunes. Click on Import. Um, it'll it'll see that CSV file. Once you've loaded it, save that CSV v file to a league, and then you can use that league. And you might have 20 leagues now from maybe different seasons, maybe college, whatever. And you can use them your, uh, however you want. Thanks a lot. I hope this helps.